Hello everyone, this is St. Maroon School, Beit Din, and I'm teacher Sandra. This video is for grade 6 and we will continue today with unit 1 art project and lesson 3, the grammar 1. We will talk about going to and will and how we can use them. First, let's see Professor and Chip, what are they doing today and where are they going? Listening 7. Listen and read. Where do Professor and Chip go? I'm going to visit an art gallery this afternoon. I'll come with you. Look at the sculpture. It's a robot, like me. Be careful, Chip. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Oh dear, we won't come back here again. Going to and will have the same use. I use them to express a future action or something that is going to happen in the future. But what is the difference between them? Let's see. I use going to to talk about plans or decisions we made earlier. It means that I use going to when I have a plan. I already thought about it and I decided after that. And will I use it to talk about decision or offers that we make as we speak. It means at the same moment of speaking so uh, we didn't think about these decisions, we didn't take our time, or we didn't plan for them. We just decided at the same time of speaking. Now, how to write going to in a sentence? We have three forms of using going to. The positive form is subject, then the verb to be, then going to, then verb one. I use the verb to be because I have going to with ing. So I must use a helping verb if I have an ing. For example, they are going to watch a movie tonight. The negative form is the subject, then the verb to be with not, and then going to with verb one. For example, they aren't going to watch a movie tonight. And the question form is, I start with the verb to be, and then the subject, then going to, then verb one. For example, are they going to watch a movie tonight? With the question mark. So, you have to, to notice or to see that I use verb one after going to. I don't change the verb. I use the base form. How to write will in a sentence? It also has three forms. The positive form is subject, then will, then verb one. They will watch a movie tonight. The negative form is subject, then will plus not, then verb one. Not sticks with will. For example, they won't watch a movie tonight. And the question form is will plus subject then verb one. Notice that I put will in the beginning of the sentence. Will they watch a movie tonight? With the question mark. And I want you to remember that will not is a full form. I can write a short form for it, which is want. You can spell it. W O N apostrophe T will not want. 
And after you watch the video, I wanted to do numbers 3 and 4 in the classbook and page 8 in the workbook. Goodbye, everyone.